uh, so let me introduce uh, asynchronous integration so we already uh, discussed about uh, if the service is of synchronous type uh, we did an integration with that service now uh, we'll pick the service which is uh, uh, an asynchronous type and we would like to integrate with that service so let's talk about asynchronous integration now uh, what happened in synchronous integration we had a synchronous service and we tried uh, to call this from sova now if you remember when we expose synchronous service it got one operation and that operation has both input and output so when caller make a call to this now this guy would be blocked until this sends a response to the caller so this is how the synchronous communication happens but whereas in asynchronous now your operation would be having only input there is no output now to send this response back to the caller there is something like callback so basically whenever you expose an asynchronous service there will be two port types one to capture your request another one to send the response back now caller let's take so here now he made a call okay using thread t1 now this guy doesn't uh, uh, expecting any response from this guy so uh, no immediate response so this uh, will continue further it will not be blocked and caller will initiate one more thread called t2 now this t2 will listen for the delayed response i mean the callback response from this guy now that's how the communication happens in asynchronous services yeah so t2 can be i mean in this sova application and right? you can let's say you have a uh composer application that can make a call to ser one service a and then it can just span another call uh, and then service a then return the response right in that kind of uh, scenario right i mean it doesn't have to um wait for service a to respond back before calling other service and that could be fine but we are just talking about uh, the direct communication between an asynchronous and the caller now this okay. server could be called by one more person so, in the, in, the, in the, the diagram down and then the beneath right you have t1 and then you have t2 is returning the response from so i was just wondering I mean, it could call out other services right in between t1 and t2 yeah yeah so t, okay. since t1 doesn't wait right now we also uh -huh. talk about flow yeah. where things gets executed in parallel what happens right. so this is the t1 T1 will make a call to your service. Now this can this guy can still continue, whereas uh -huh. in another branch I can wait for a response. Right. So it can perform a couple of more actions, but once I get a response, uh, I'll end this branch uh, and then here I can continue. Okay. 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 So let's quickly uh, implement a demonstration. Now for doing a demonstration, first we need an asynchronous service. I'll create one more shipping service. But this time I'll make it as asynchronous. So I've chosen the asynchronous template. Now this guy got two operations. <clears throat> so clients will make a call to this operation. They'll send the input, and client will wait on this port type, this operation. So once this implementation was done with processing, it will give you the response on this operation. So that's how the asynchronous communication happens. Whereas if you look at the synchronous one. It got only one operation. It has both input and output. So client will wait until this guy will give you the response back. Can 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 I just go back to the asynchronous one more time? Sorry, asynchronous stuff. So it's gonna just wait for the input. It doesn't care about the output, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me delay the response conditionally. I'll use a conditional statement. So 
this is the condition I have introduced and if this is a condition I'll use a wait activity the wait is used to block your thread for a given time let's take I'll wait for 15 seconds <clears throat> I don't need this else block Then I'll return response to the call. Hey, Fazal, uh, see what 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 did you, what are you doing? Your condition? What is the logic you put in here? Can you just do one more time? explain one more time? Oh, sorry, I missed out something. Yeah. I just uh, added a condition. I'm taking a status element. If the okay. value comes as delay, I added a wait activity to wait this okay. thread for 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, okay. Correct. So if, 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 the, if the value. clients if if the clients send the uh, parameters delay, then it will wait for 15 seconds. Caller is, uh, I mean, when the provider is asynchronous, the caller should also be an asynchronous template. Puzzle, how come it created the external references? You just create a composite application, right? I just dragged and dropped this reference, right? I created this external reference manually, right? Oh, is it any delay in rendering? Yeah, probably. I didn't, I didn't see it. Probably. Yeah, if you can just show it again. So you from palette you from, from palette you drag and drop the external references. Correct. And then I gave this okay. visual URL. Okay. Okay, I see. So here okay. I took the call back this time. It got a call back, right? And I selected the call back. I selected this guy. Now how to make a call to this service? Invoke. Created a variable. Now let's prepare the input. We are using the same activity for calling and then provider service both same. No, no. Shipping is shipping XSD and OM is purchase order. Oh, this is a purchase order. Okay. Okay. This is fine till the invocation. <laughs>